As a turnkey investor myself, sometimes I hear people talking about turnkey properties and I just don't know what they're saying. And then I realize it's because what they're calling turnkey isn't really what the term means. Hi everyone, Chris Clothier here from REI Nation and I've been investing in turnkey properties for decades. And today I'm gonna clear up the confusion by explaining turnkey investing as it should be defined and breaking down some of the unique advantages of these types of deals because I've done a lot of them. So let's define turnkey. What is it? Turnkey is very, very simple. It means that you as an investor, you buy a property that someone else has purchased themselves with their own money. And that person has renovated the property to a very high level. That person or company has placed a long-term resident into the house and you're able to buy that entire package neatly all packaged up as an investment property. And as a bonus, you can hire a management company with that same group to manage the property going forward. So turnkey means you have one person to talk to from beginning to the last day you own that property. They provide all of the services for you. That to me is turnkey. Now here's some things that turnkey is not, and I see this on a constant basis, almost daily. Turnkey is not a real estate agent that says, I am a turnkey investor or a turnkey investment that you can buy something off of the MLS and I'll introduce you to a management company or I'll introduce you to a renovation company because there you are talking to three different people and you're using your own money to do the deal. Turnkey is not somebody that says, I know all of the turnkey turnkey companies out there and I'll introduce you to all of them or one of them or some of them and that's turnkey you'll be a turnkey investor because here's the deal that company doesn't own anything they're not actually buying anything or renovating anything or managing anything they're simply introducing you that's called a turnkey promotional company and promotional companies actually are selling something different than a turnkey piece of real estate. They're selling turnkey investors to other companies. So that's not turnkey. The basic advantages of doing turnkey the way I describe it versus any other scenario is that you have one point of contact. There is one person that's responsible for everything that you're going to experience as an investor. Now, there's a key point that you have to know here. You don't have to use anything that that turnkey company provides. So you don't have to hire their management company. You don't have to hire their insurance company. You don't have to hire their lawyer or closing agent to close the deal. You can bring all those services yourself. What turnkey means is you don't have to use your money to find the property, to renovate the property, or to rent the property. And if you choose you don't even have to use your own money or your own company to manage it. They'll provide that process for you. This is a great way for investors that are professionals, that have professional companies or professional jobs that they put a vast majority of their time daily, weekly, monthly into. So investors that choose to be passive. It is a way for investors to get started investing if their local market is too expensive or not broad enough, not big enough for them to be able to find properties that fit their needs. Perhaps they're in a market that doesn't have high quality management options or high quality renovation options. Or perhaps turnkey is great for investors that just say, I don't want to spend the time doing this. I want to hire professionals to do it for me. Now, the other advantages of turnkey, and you got to remember, this is really important. You're not using your money. So there's no upfront purchasing cost. There's no upfront rehab cost. You buy a fully renovated property on the back end. Some other misnomers and some, some ideas that you need to make sure that you're aware of as an investor if you buy turnkey. Turnkey doesn't mean you'll have fewer vacancies. I mean, it's still real estate. Turnkey doesn't mean that you'll have no maintenance. It's still real estate. What turnkey provides, what the term should mean for an investor is, I don't have to find the exact street in the right neighborhood, in the right school district, in the right city, and then go buy that property myself, and then go find the right renovation team, and then go find the right management team. All of these processes are built for me. I'm buying a finished product from the seller of the finished product product. So that is, to me, the true definition of a turnkey investment and who it works best for. Now, there's some things you have to watch out for as an investor, for sure. And I've mentioned a couple of them. I think the biggest red flag for investors when they're buying turnkey is that the word, it kind of means a lot of things now. People have defined it however they want to define it. It's a great marketing term. It's one that gets a lot of eyeballs and a lot of people are interested in it. So turnkey is used to describe a lot of different processes. Probably the one that hurts investors the most 
first is when somebody's buying a turnkey property and they don't realize that who they're working with is not the owner of the property, that who they're working with didn't actually risk anything to market that property and try and sell that property. So all the risk falls back on you as an investor. Be careful. Make sure you're doing business with companies that actually purchase, renovate, and then will offer a service of management on the back end in-house. Again, you have one person to talk to from the day you buy it to the day you're done investing. Now, in today's high interest rate markets, don't forget that this is still real estate. Now, it's deeded real estate. You own it, but it's still real estate. High interest rates are going to affect turnkey deals the exact same way they're going to affect any other deals. One of the knocks on turnkey, and it's legitimate, is the fact that someone else is using their money to find, renovate, and then hold that property until somebody buys it. So will there be as big a spread? It's unlikely. It doesn't mean no, but it's unlikely. It also means that it's super, super difficult to buy a property that's really inexpensive. Now, I don't mean inexpensive to where you live. I mean inexpensive in the markets it's in. To me, most markets today, if you're buying a property that's operated and offered as a turnkey investment and it's under $100,000, it's probably not going to be a good deal because it's highly, highly difficult to buy a good property, to renovate it properly, to hold it until it's occupied and then sell it for a profit and keep all of that under 100,000. So remember that when you're buying properties that if it looks too good to be true, it just might be. It's normal real estate. The rules still apply. Make sure you're making good investments in good properties, but the reason to buy turnkey is someone else has identified and done the work for you. Thank you so much for listening. If this video has been helpful, uh, please let us know in the comments. This has been Chris Clothier from REI Nation. You can connect with me at Bigger Pockets anytime. I look forward to talking to you and we'll see you again.